minutes, and so we should be able to get everybody in. Okay, that we get 15 people in. I think we maybe have eight here. So, um, uh, Chrissy Springer. Just gone. She's no longer here. Okay. Next one, Grace Martinez. Also no longer here. These are in the reverse Star order Hess. that we put them in, okay. by the way. Start from the bottom, yeah. Okay. Two minutes. We thank Commissioner Cohen for attempting to schedule a May 29th SPURS Retirement Board meeting to discuss discriminatory lending policy. Since public comment is quite limited at these meetings, however, we'd like to share some responses to the April 10th meeting with the commissioners at this meeting today. We're now down uh, one commissioner, Stansbury. Um, the San Francisco Employee Retirement System has social investment policies that require the commissioners of the retirement board to consider discriminatory lending as a factor in determining investment policy as long as it doesn't interfere with the board's fiduciary responsibility of producing investment returns for the exclusive benefit of plan participants. In fact, anything SPURS can do to influence the banks to stop illegal, discriminatory, and predatory lending will almost certainly increase the value of those investments and therefore benefits for as planned participants. Mortgage loan servicers like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and J.P. Morgan Chase, among others, engaged in discriminatory lending practices according to reputable sources like the U.S. Department of Justice, the Office of the Controller of the Currency of the U.S. Treasury, the Federal Trade Commission, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, and the Center for American Progress. While these banks deny any intent to engage in discriminatory lending, their practices led to the two largest discriminatory lending settlements in U.S. history. The $335 million Bank of America settlement was approximately 50 times larger than any pri prior discriminatory lending settlement, and the $234.3 million Wells Fargo settlement was approximately 35 times larger than any prior discriminatory lending settlement. And I'll let the next person speak. Okay. Uh, Bernita? Bernetta. Bernetta. One, One moment of silence, silence, to, silence to mourn Wells Fargo's eviction, eviction of disabled African American, African -American senior Bernetta Adolph, a San Francisco employee retirement system plan participant. One minute of silence to pray that Bernetta finds a safe and secure home. Okay, I think, uh, thank you. Jackie Wright. 